All right, so let's talk about uh, the all-in stuff. And wh- where are we at ticket sales-wise today? I do not know um, a number. I'm sure it'll be tweeted. I actually, um, yeah, it, it's 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 hard to get. I mean, it's 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 over sixty. I mean, I know that. So I mean, it could be, you know, whatever. It's it's over sixty. Could be over sixty-five by now. Do not know, but um, uh, it is probably either the it, it's it, this or the 2016 mania in dallas would be the fastest selling pro wrestling tickets in history so just being mentioned along the lines of you know i mean well ahead of um well not well ahead but ahead of wembley in 92 ahead of wrestlemania 3 um ahead of every other wrestlemania other than the dallas so um that is uh it's incredible. It's an incredible story. I mean, it's t- funny because somebody somebody on Twitter just wrote to me and said, like, you know, if you go to, back to the start, I mean, like, this would be the movie. And it really would. I mean, uh, because of, you know, it's not all positive. I mean, the, the idea of what, um, you know, the Young Bucks and Cody started and then the meeting of Tony, with t- Tony Khan and the building of this company and getting to this date with Cody gone and, and all of the stuff that happened over the last year. I mean, it is an, an incredible story. Um, and the success, you know, I mean, when, when they booked Wembley Stadium and they announced it on that show, you know, I mean, I it was funny because at first that day before the TV show, somebody had mentioned Wembley and I go, oh, fuck, not again <laughs> on Wembley Arena. It's like. They're going to sell that out so quick. And I'm that's, gonna I, so that's what I thought, too. I thought it was the arena. Yeah, I was so, so mad because they always, you know, every time, like, there's no doubt in my mind that if they had run a stadium in L.A., you know, they'd have done, um, you know, 25 to 30,000. Um, I know for sure if they would have run the um, stadium, which they couldn't get in Toronto, but they would have gotten, you know, easily 25 to 30,000. Um, and I thought in England, you know, they would get easily 25,000, maybe 30. Um, when they did the stadium, it was like, wow, that is a gamble, but it's a smart gamble. And it's one that they needed to do. And the idea, you know, a lot of people, you know, the, the draw, it's a really interesting draw here because the draw is, AW is the primary draw, you know, the fact that they haven't been there, but the idea that they booked Wembley in and of itself made it a draw, sort of like when AEW, for example, runs its first show in Madison Square Garden if it ever gets the rights to do that and wants to do that because it's a heavy cost and they probably could make more profit running Arthur Ashe anyway, so they may never want to do Madison Square Garden. But if they could, they will sell out because it's the first time AEW is in Madison yep. Square Garden. And they'll sell out at really high ticket prices if they want to do that. Um, just because of the ve- the venue, in this case, is a big part of the draw. If they would, Because people are going like, well, they could have run Tottenham. And it's like, that does not that's not going to be the draw that Wembley is going to be. Um, so they had that going for them as well. You know, I mean, I've thought a lot about this and I mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing, amazing story. I mean, in the observer, you know, I go through all the biggest gates in history and you know, we're talking about all of these giant shows, you know, like, you know, those giant Jim Londo shows, which, which they won't be one of them, but they're in the realm of that. And they're in the realm of all those, you know, WrestleManias and, and you know Brett and Davey and all that, and you know we're, we're we're talking about this show with no matches announced, you know, which and and again, yes, WrestleMania draws big with no matches announced, but WrestleMania in and of itself is a giant draw. All in is not WrestleMania yet. Maybe maybe this will be the start of something. And obviously, he's big on traditions, but uh, you know, I mean, it it can, this this accomplishment. It was it was a big gamble. It paid off gigantic. Um, it doesn't, you know, one thing I want to bring up is that it is it is gigantic. It is historical and all that. It doesn't mean that this is a, a turnaround or anything like that. It doesn't mean that, like, you know, um, it's all it's all smooth sailing. Now, if they get a great television deal, it's all smooth sailing from there. That's that's it. This show itself is a great positive, but it's not, you know, I mean, I I keep thinking about like, you know, different territories and different places that did giant stadium shows and they didn't necessarily lead to increases, you know, in business afterwards. In fact, in most cases, um, they decreased a lot. You know, I mean, one of the things with Sam Mushnick that, you know, that 
that Sam and Larry used to always talk to me about because they never ran bigger than, you know, the, the checker dome, you know, which is now, um, you know, well, well, you know, it's not, it's, you know, the, 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 the big arena that was in their, in their era, which was 19,000. And they had shows that could have, you know, gone outside and like Sam Lustig's retirement show, they probably could have done 25, 30,000 people. But the idea was, is they never wanted to go that big because they never wanted, they, they didn't want the follow-up stuff to go down. That's um, why, you know, there was a lot of, there were times where um, in the Bruno reign, where, where they could have booked the Spiros Arion and Bruno San Martino or um, Billy Graham and Bruno San Martino and, and, and not gone to Madison Square Garden, but they didn't want to, um, you know, they, they did take the risk for the Ali and Oki, um, and they did take the risk for Bruno and Zabisco because they knew that would be so huge, which is a funny one because Vince Sr. was actually against that feud, and then he ended up booking Shea Stadium. For it. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Somebody needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.